Hello, I'm Emily Ernest from the University of Delaware Cooperative Extension Vegetable and Fruit Program. Pea variety trials are one of the things that I do as a part of my job of extending knowledge and changing lives. Green peas for processing have been grown in Delaware for a century. Four to five thousand acres of peas are planted in Delaware each year. Since 1994, researchers with University of Delaware Cooperative Extension have been testing new varieties of peas at the university's research farm in Georgetown, Delaware. Farmers and vegetable processors use the results of these trials to decide which varieties to plant, and seed companies use the results to determine which varieties to market in our area. The pea trials begin with planting of the first trial in mid-March, followed by a second trial in mid-April. The two planting dates allow us to test varieties that mature quickly and are intended for early planting, and those that take longer to mature and are intended for later planting. We plant three plots of each variety so that we can use statistical analysis to determine whether there are differences between the varieties. As the plants emerge and grow, we collect data on stand establishment and flowering date, but the real work happens at harvest time. After determining which varieties are ready to be harvested, we get to work pulling vines from a 25-foot section of each plot. Each plot's vines go into a separate trash can and get loaded in the truck. We weigh each trash can to determine the weight of the vines, and then it's time to shell out the peas. Our stationary FMC viner is essential to the process of determining the yield of the varieties. vines are fed into the viner using a conveyor belt. Then the paddles inside beat the vines and pods burst open. The peas fall through the screen in the rotating drum and roll down the curtains to the conveyor belt at the bottom. The peas come out at one end and the vines at the other. Now it's time to use our cleaner to help remove pods, leaves, and stones that made it through the viner too. We weigh the cleaned peas to determine yield. And you might think we're all done, but we're not. Now it's time to put a sample through the size separator to determine if this variety makes lots of small peas or lots of big ones. We weigh each of the different sizes and then put all but the smallest peas back into one sample for the last test. After the combined sample is washed, we run three subsamples in the shear press, which tests the tenderness of the peas by measuring the amount of force necessary to push the ram through the peas in the sample box. We try to harvest our peas at a T reading of 100 for maximum quality. Samples that are less than 100 are undermature, and high numbers indicate that these peas have been in the field a little too long. Looks like these are just about perfect. All of our data gets written in the notebook, and then later entered into the computer for statistical analysis. Now it's time to clean up. The results of the trials are compiled into a report for farmers, processors, and seed companies to use. It's available both printed and on the internet. We also invite people to our pea twilight meeting to see the late variety trial when it's nearing harvest and hear about preliminary results from the early trial as well as other research we're doing with peas. Improved varieties with increased yield and better disease resistance help growers and processors produce a quality product and help ensure that we can grow peas on Delmarva for many more years.